But then, of course, they ended up spending a full day in a flooded basement. Perfect. You want me to kind of co come over to here, maybe? Yeah. Like as an end mark? First, just the ice. And if you keep your chin down, it's much more threatening. He's incredibly talented. The control of like every muscle in his face is like just amazing. It's very impressive. He like did things physically in this in this movie that he never did before or never tried before. I think it's a, it was a very, very exhausting uh, work. You'll float too. No, but... You'll float too. 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 That was very good. Towel. Towel, towel, towel. You can't really relate to Pennywise. You can't relate to him in any way because Bill's definitely not a, a child-killing clown. Maybe, I don't know, he maybe he is. Come join the clown, Ed. We all float down here. I don't need to base this out of something human, really. There's definitely human aspects of it because like everything is, so like psychopathy or like evil or sinister or has you know lust and hunger and like all these feelings are directly human or animalistic at least and those are things that you could pinpoint and relate to or for me to relate to and then create a character through it awesome. <laughs> that's great let's see the, the one before yeah like and uh, on his head, like the angle is Anthony, perfect. play the one before yeah, that please when i had a conversation in his trailer where we had this like like you know very serious conversation about the, the changing the lines the dialogue and suddenly i realized that i'm talking to a clown and he doesn't know it no because he's not seeing himself and he's uh, i'm talking to a clown that is like all like smeared with children ch ch children's blood and he's like talking like very serious to me about like ch saying like this line and not the other <laughs> i took a picture of the event so uh, I, will, I will show it. We will put it and we will cut it in. As I'm saying this, I will cut, we will cut it in. You see it? And I really have to give it to, to Bill oh, because he did a, an amazing job and his energy was at full all the time. Feast for my life, right fear, raw fright, a belly full of blood, dripping dread. <sighs> Can you smell tasty Georgie on my breath? <laughs> the last scene of the film when they fight Pennywise, that's required a lot of work for them. As you can see, we do intense fighting. We train for our final battle with Pennywise every day. The power of belief is what allows them to fight Pennywise, and the power of belief that they create as a group. And you can see it when they're performing. And they feed from each other, which is fantastic to see. And that's actually what happens in the film. Check, Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. I think we do it too much, but we like to joke around on set because things are getting really emotional now. We're about to leave, and also the scenes are just so tough. We're fighting Pennywise, so we're having fun as much as we can. Hey, Wyatt. Hi. Oh. Hey, Wyatt here. What happened, Hi. Wyatt? Uh, I went to prosthetics, and then things happened. <laughs> There's this scene that was shot in the, the last few days of principal photography at the sewers where Stan is attacked by Judith, uh, one of the inc incarnations of it. When, when the monster releases him and the, the kids go to aid him, he's out of his mind and crying and like blaming them for letting him come into this horrible place. I think being so close has helped our acting out a lot. For example, with the, the Wyatt scene, when we're, when we're saving Stanley, everybody felt like that was Wyatt. And I felt like I really hurt Wyatt and I hurt all my friends. And it just helped us a lot, getting that emotion out. That day, we kind of like talked before the scene that we need, to, we need a few minutes to really get into character because it was definitely an emotional scene and it's hard to just, when they say action, get into character. And for a while, there's no screaming and suddenly, Ben! Ben! 
I did the scene three days in a row, so that means I cried my eyes out three days in a row. <laughs> but at first, like, I didn't want to do it again, but then I was like, you know what, it's, it's gonna look good, and I think it's gonna pay off. I've been in that place before. I've shut myself off from the world and just cried, but I think that was the first time they opened that door, and it's definitely hard. But I think a good hug will resolve everything. It was definitely a very weird and out-of-body experience because I, start, I started crying out of nowhere and everyone was just coming away. They were like, roll. And they rolled it and uh, it was crazy, yeah. I literally was tearing. I, I, we were all, we were all like crying, crying. And it was like such a great thing because like the friendships are so strong in this film and in reality as well. It's so like amazing. And I like, and I just found that and it's, um, and after we did the take, we were all just like bawling our eyes out. It was insane. And that was really, really, really a triggering of, of the moment that it, they were living because they knew that the shoot was about to finish. I think it was such a beautiful experience for them. It was like the perfect summer. Their bonding was so real. It was the perfect trigger for them to, to like let go and ev suddenly everybody was, was crying. They were like really bringing out the real, real emotions. And it was very touching. A month ago, I remember being really sad that it was coming to an end. But I think we're all ready to go back to our normal lives. It couldn't have gone any other way. And I think we define the Losers Club, I guess you could say. I think this is probably the best summer of my life. The bond was, was real. And whatever happens from now on with our lives, that was a very, very, very special summer for them. And it's, it's, it's curious how much of the similarity it has to the story. I mean, the story, it ends up with the losers not seeing each other again as a group, which is a sad note. I don't think it will happen with these kids. They just bonded fantastically.